What's going on stackers? So in this video we're going to be covering five different low and no content books that are super easy to create. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said, we're going to be covering five no and low content books that are super easy to create. I'm going to cover them. Then nearer the end of the video, I'm going to show you where you can get some interiors and also how to create a few of these books super, super simply, super simply, nope, super fast, just by using Canva and the free version at that. So first of all, the first one to create is a notebook. Notebooks are super easy to create because it's just lined paper. So I've got a few examples here that I'm going to run through just so you can see the inside of the book. So let's zoom out. And if we look here, just lined paper. So this is really, really easy to create. Now, please remember this though, the easier it is to create the book, the more competition there's going to be. So just remember that. But aligned interior, look at that, super, super simple. Every page is the same. So that's the first one, notebooks. The second one, sketchbooks. Another really easy, no content book that you can create. So if we click on here, and then if we zoom out and go to the second page or the third page, we can see every page is just gonna have a lined border around it. Now, if you want to do sketchbooks, you can't have, I believe it's three or four consecutive blank pages in a book. Amazon does not like this. So if you want to create sketchbooks, you have to put a border around the edge or numbers in the corner of the page. But again, sketchbooks, super, super simple to create and you can create them relatively fast. So that's the second. The third, composition notebooks. So if we click on here, this is very similar just to a notebook. You have a few different types. In the composition notebook niche, we have the wide ruled and the college ruled, and then a primary composition notebook, which is coming up next. Now, if we look on the inside, this looks like wide ruled. So this is really easy to create. We can get the templates from a few different sites, but that's the third one, super, super easy. The fourth one is a primary composition notebook. Now, this is different to the primary. No, this is different to just the composition notebook because this is aimed at kids. So if we go to the second page, we have a part at the bottom of the page where kids can practice writing and then they can do some drawings just here. This is also known as a draw and write journal. So just another one which is really, really easy to create. So that's the fourth. So that's, hold on, we'll cover that in a second actually. So the fifth is planners. Now planners are a little bit more tricky to create, especially if you're trying to create them yourself. But tangent templates make it, makes it so easy for you to create a planner. And we're going to cover that nearer the end of the video. But that's the five book types that are super easy to create. So let's cover them one more time. We have a standard notebook, sketchbook, composition notebook, primary composition notebook, and then a planner as well. So in fact, let's take a look on the inside of this. You can make your planners as complex as you want. It's down to you. But if we go onto the second page, let's take a little look. So something like this would actually be really easy to create in Canva. But for my planners, I don't have very many. But for mine, I just use tangent templates, again, because they make things super easy. Now, with me personally, I like to keep things kiss. Keep it super simple. I don't like to overcomplicate things 
when you overcomplicate things, you start overthinking things as well, and then you get nothing done. So always remember KISS. Keep it super simple. Now, like I said, these books are really easy to create, but now you're probably wondering how do you create them or where can you get the interiors? So we're going to cover where you can get the interiors, and then I'm going to show you how to create a few of these books just in Canva super super easy so the first place creative fabrica if you don't have an account there will be a link down below i suggest going and creating one even just a free account because if we go here you can get a lot of good freebies but when you're on here if you come here to graphics and then we actually have to scroll down a little bit so let's do that again graphics and what look we got kdp interiors so in here if you type in lined notebook, sketchbook, composition notebook, primary composition, planners, you're going to find all those interiors just here, and they're relatively cheap. Now, if you have a subscription, you can download them for free because it's part of your subscription. So you might pay $29.99 a month, but then you can download unlimited things. So I really, really love Creative Fabrica for getting interiors. If we look just here, so one of the best selling things at the minute is a 2021 planner. So this is a great place to get the planners. And if we go right up to the top, to the search bar, you can just type in things like composition, notebook, KDP, interior. And then you should get lots of different interiors that you can actually download. So just give that a second to load up. There we go. So that first one, Composition Notebook. So great place to come and get interiors. I highly recommend them. I pay for Creative Fabrica because that's where I get all my fonts and my graphics and everything to create my book. And I managed to get in on the Black Friday sale last year, so I only pay $11 per month. But that's the first place that you can go to actually get these interiors. The second place is free, completely free, and it's BookBolt. You don't even need an account. So what you want to do is come to bookbolt.io, and then when you're on the front page, you come here to resources and go to interior wizard now we're just going to give that a second to load up and then on this page you want to go to interior wizard just here and like i said this is completely free you can find composition notebooks as we can see just here we can see a normal lined notebook i think yep that is and then we also have a blank page with numbers. So this is ideally good for sketchbooks, but just a great place to come and get them if you're a little bit tight on money. So that's the second place, and that is BookBolt. And then the third place, and my favourite place, and that's Tangent Templates. So in fact, let's just close a couple of these tabs. We'll close that one, we'll close that one, and we'll go here. So Tangent Templates is by far my favourite place to get interiors. It's a one-time payment of, I believe, $59. You can find a coupon code online to get $10 off if you want to do that. But this is just a great tool because they have all these other tools up here as well. But then all these interiors. So we got that college ruled for the composition notebook or the wide ruled for the composition notebook as well. We can use a blank page with numbers very similar to um, book bolt. Then we have, if we go down, story paper. So this is for the primary composition notebook. And then planners, if we go all the way down to the bottom, right down to here, we have dynamic templates and we have planners just here. So if we click on here, we have all these different styles. So we have daily planner style one, style two, style three, or different styles just there. And these ones as well, along with a yearly planner just here. So if we click on one of these, we can see it's just a simple kind of elegant planner. It looks fresh and clean. Just give that one second to load up. And then from here, we can customize it. So in here, we can choose the trim size of the book.
We can do the start date, the date range just here, select the language and the date format as well. And we also have a few different options for font styles. Would be great to have the option to upload your own font. So if you're watching this tangent templates, please think about adding that feature because I have some really nice fonts that would work really well within a planner. Then from here, so we can even add prompts. We can show days, off, on, and all this good stuff. So this is a really great tool just for creating planners. So you don't have to go and spend a lot of money on creating planners. You don't have to create them yourself because of tangent templates. So that's my third favorite place to get interiors for these types of books. Now, like I said, nearer the beginning of the video, I'm also going to show you how to create a few of these right now, just within Canva. Now, I just had to pause the video real quick for another reason, but here we are. So in Canva, now you can do this all within the free version as well. You don't need the paid version. I do suggest getting the paid version if you're serious about low content because they have some really great features. I'll try and link a video right there right now in the right hand corner so you can see what the features are. And if you click the link down below for Canva, you can get a 30 day free trial. Anyway, so let's create a lined interior really, really quick. I actually have another video about this, just about this on the channel as well. So I'll try and link that right there in the right hand corner because that video is going to go a little bit more in depth. But all you have to do is come here, type in a line, and then we want this line just here. Now what I'm going to do is just make that a real dark shade of gray because I found that black if you do lines completely black, they just don't look right when they're printed. So let's go down to here. Let's make that a little bit grayer like that. So now we have this line. Now what we want to do is make that longer and we're going to make it thinner. So let me just zoom in for a minute. Let's go on 100. Let's do that. So we're going to make that really thin and make it really long like that. So let's just do that. Let's just go to fit to see how thin that is. I think that needs to be a little bit thinner. So we're going to have to zoom in again. Let's do that. A little bit thinner, maybe about there. Going to have to zoom in again so we can grab it on the side. There we go. So let's do that. Make that a little bit longer, maybe about there. Let's take a little look. So that would be fine, maybe a little bit too thin, but anyway. Now what I want to do is just get a border up around the side. So let's go to show margins. And let's just do that. There we go. So now that's centered. Now what I want to do is just bring that right up to the top. Remember, this isn't for a composition. This is just a standard notebook. Now from here, we're going to duplicate the page. Then we're just going to move it over like that. And let's just keep duplicating. So we'll do that. Now let's just zoom in a little bit. Let's go to 125. I just want to line up the sides of these like that. It doesn't matter if they're not evenly spaced because we're going to do that in a second. There we go. Only a couple more. So let's just do that. That's all centered. We're going to do that one as well. So this is just a really quick way to create lined interiors. So there we go, that's what we want. Now let's just zoom out. Now we're going to drag over all of this like that. We're going to go to position right here, and then we're going to go to vertically. Click that, and if we go back, they're all now evenly spaced. And what you can do from here is do that, duplicate, so now we have more lines and move that down. Then we're going to do that again. Move that down. And maybe one more. We don't need as many lines. So let's do that. There we go. Now we just want to make sure that all these are centered or individually evenly spaced. So again, we go to position, vertically, done. 
So that's just a real simple way to create a lined interior. Then we can just do this. We can just keep duplicating the page till we have 50 pages because Canva only allows you to duplicate 50 pages. And then what you want to do is download that, go to I Love PDF, and then you can just add the pages together. So if you have a PDF of 50 pages, you can upload that twice into I Love PDF and then download that so you have a 100 page um, interior. So really, really simple. Really, really simple way to create a lined interior and completely for free. Now, to do a sketchbook, that's the only one I'm going to cover as well because this video has actually gone on for quite some time now, almost or just over 15 minutes long, and I'd like to keep it a little bit shorter. So, enough of the waffling. What we want to do is go back to here. We want to, want to go on elements, and then we want to go to shapes. Now, from here, what we need is this or this. So, let's do this one. Let's change that color again. There we go, that should be fine. Now we want to make this border quite thin. So that would probably do fine. Now we want to move that up to there. We're going to do that, do that. And now we have a sketchbook page. Now from here, again, we'd just duplicate the page. And then once we have the 50 pages, we download that, go over to I Love PDF, merge them together so you have your interior. But as you can see, a sketchbook interior is super, super simple to create. So I do suggest just playing around in Canva and having a little go. And remember, if you want a 30 day free trial of Canva, Canva Pro, then click that link down in the description below to go through and check it out. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.